This is the feminist intervention. This is black women leaders like Bell Hooks and Audre Lorde who declare that caring for ourselves is not self-indulgence but a form of political warfare. For too long have women, especially women of color, been told to suppress our grief, to suppress our rage in the name of love and forgiveness no more. I believe that revolutions happen not only in big public moments but in the quiet places where groups of people come together in pockets like this. I took that and I, I was like, this is a challenge. This is a challenge. What I need to do is address this in the way as an athlete would do, be the strongest Adrian I can be, to be the strongest Tina I can be. My mom growing up, she always said, you know, you have to speak it into existence. Yes. So I feel like, I mean, a vision board is literally that. You're sort yes. of trying to manifest your vision. Absolutely. I believe in that. I yeah, believe in that. So do I. Um, so I would like to manifest a woman president, like, real quick. Yeah. I didn't give myself an option of failing mainly because this is a woman that I was growing to love. This is a woman whose story needs to be told. This is a woman who has inspired so many people. Facebook is a, is a huge company with enormous power given the amount of people who are engaged on Facebook. And we should be scrutinized. I think a lot of women um, want to be mission driven in their work. They want it to be about their passion. And I, I think you're always more successful if you're doing something that you're passionate about. I do think, um, you know, that imposter syndrome, we all have experienced it at some point. And um, you can't let the fear that that creates within you stop you. You've got to, to, to push past it. You have to. And I think I just had this moment of it was now or never and sort of like you could turn that 15 minutes of fame into a cool moment in your life or into your dream career. I want girls growing up to finally see someone who looks like them represented in the beauty industry. When men have wealth, they're invited to invest and amass more wealth. Um, whereas when women have wealth, they're invited to give it away. You've got to be confident. One of the most important things we have to do as women um, and founders and funders is to pay it forward and help each other. lives every single day. So if you have biased AI, biased algorithms, and you want to get a job as an executive, if their analytics tell them, oh, the best kind of executive fits this profile, probably going to be a white male because they, they use predictive analytics, which means they, lose, they use history in order to try to predict the future, which why don't you just get creative and make the effing future, but whatever. And the patriarchy loves this shit. Mm -hmm. They love to keep your purpose, your body. They love it, mm -hmm. okay? What we risk shows what we value. And, and for me, I, I felt really strongly and really compelled to take that risk because what I do value is not only for me. Look, I'm at, I've had great success and, and, and I'm so thankful for the fans that I have and for the success that I have had. But I am a 45-year-old woman and I'm starting to think about my legacy, not just my own music, but the legacy of the music of the young girls who come behind me. Mm -hmm. And I want them to have a chance. Mm -hmm genuinely love to do what we feel we're good at mm -hmm. and I think what we feel that we are good at can empower us so for me it, that's always been a, a space and a safe space even uh, that and I don't know with that which comes first the chicken or the egg you know does the empowerment lead to the safety or vice versa but it, it's it's always for me felt a place that I can speak my truth mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you for that any other I knew and I think this is true for both of these changes the commonality is I knew what I didn't want to do and I started with that. Um, ignorance was bliss when I started. I didn't know all the, the rules of retail, of starting a brand. Thank God, because I may not have done it. Yeah. Um, yeah, but true. it's been, every day I'm learning. Every week I'm learning. Like the excitement of being an entrepreneur is that no two days are the same. No, no two stages of your company are the same. Um, and that just keeps it constantly, you're constantly on your toes and you're constantly evolving and leading, even if it's not jumping from job to job or, you know, changing career? Um, whether we're talking about women who are mothers and entrepreneurs, um, or they have some other perspective shift or focus in life, and they're, they're an entrepreneur, it can often be seen as 
um, soft and weak and not committed. Mm -hmm. And um, just frankly, we often get seen as women as you couldn't be as good of a CEO because you have your heart is with your kids. You have another obligation. My reason for my work and my end game was to make women who have been marginalized and excluded because of their size um, through fashion feel equal and capable and commanding. And I'm just trying to make women of all shapes and sizes feel like they can participate in the fashion conversation. What's been amazing is seeing how they really represent what I think of as the forefront of culture. Because when you look at queer youth, black trans queer youth, you know, they know what the coolest music is. They have the best taste in clothing, you know. They know what the trends are. So I think to give them a platform where they're the ones who are celebrated and they're teaching us what culture is on their terms and we can see that reflected back to us, they're the ones who are making the world a, a more beautiful, better place. And we have the power and the privilege of giving them the space to do that. So I, I love you know what I do every day in creating that space for them. Keeping going day by day by day by day because it isn't that there's one huge victory or one huge problem, and it isn't that we can live in the future either. We can only live in the present. Know that together we are stronger. It's a deliberate attempt to silence us, and we must not be fear-mongered. 